What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today we're gonna to be opening up a hobby box. My first hobby box on the channel for the 2020-21 SP Authentic. I've been really looking forward to this. I absolutely love the sets. As you guys know, I'm looking for a complete base sets, but also some of the rookie jersey cards and other numbered cards and other things as well. So hopefully we can get some really cool stuff out of this hobby box. have it opened up here so this did cost me four hundred and ten dollars at my local hobby store more than I usually spend on hockey cards and hockey products but hopefully we can get something really cool out of it so I'm just gonna dive right in with the first pack here because there's 18 packs in here and you are guaranteed uh, future watch auto which is really awesome so one per box and there's a couple guys that I have my eye out on hopefully we can get it so I'm gonna hopefully go through the base a lot quicker today so we have Austin Matthews Connor McDavid we did get a celebrated moment moments for Braden points something I haven't received yet thick thick decoy and then two more regular base So I'm going to focus, normally I should try to share every card, uh, the base cards I'm just going to try to skip through because we do have a lot, so it's going to be mostly the hits. So base, base, we do have a Future Watch Spectrum of Thomas Harley, so that's new, something I didn't get out of the regular packs, and then base and base. Base, base. We did get a Max Petrelli uh, retro looking card. It's really cool. Base and base. I didn't see any blue base yet, so that must be out of the regular ones. Um, I might get hopefully some of the red ones out of this. I think that's hobby exclusive, some of the red uh, ones. We have base, base. Yep, just like that. That is the. Brad Marchand, red, limited, uh, base card. It says even limited right down here. So that's really cool. Sidney Crosby, base. Keith Yandel, recently retired, base, base. We do have a Brandon Gallagher, retro card. Base and base. This one's thick, but I'm assuming it's going to be a thick decoy. Sounds about right. Base, base. Ooh. We have an auto for Jonathan Herbido. That is nice. Sign of the times. Look at that. Recently traded to Calgary as well. Very, very interesting. I really like that one. So we did get an auto out of here. Big decoy. Once again, and two more base. Uh, hopefully we do get some more jersey cards, but again, there's supposed to be an autographed Future Watch rookie in here as well. So I can't wait for that one. Hopefully it's Stutzel or a few other players that I collect would be nice. Base, base, Brent Burns, limited red base. Base and base. I don't like the red base being as an insert. Uh, for the other ones, the blue one, the blue base is not considered a, a, an insert, really. Base, base. Andre, retro card. Cool. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of those retro cards yet. Uh, haven't really got anybody that I collect, per se, but. Base, oh, we have a future watch. Uh, numbered out of 500, so this is 425 of Gabe Vallardi. Kind of looks retro. Yeah, retro future watch. That's really cool. Another card I didn't even realize. And then we have a retro uh, John Klingberg. Base and base. Another thick one. Hopefully get something good. 
Looks like a decoy. Base, base, Mitch Marner. Uh, SP Top Performers. Another new one. Thick decoy and then two base. Oh, right on the top, we have celebrated moments for Alex Lafrane. I always butcher names, probably butchered that one. Base, 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 base. It's weird it was right on top though, usually it's in between. We have base, base. Uh, we have true leaders. So the other one was top performers. This one's true leaders for Patris Spurgeron. Two more base, which, nope, I thought that was another Crosby base. Another thick one, will it be a decoy or something good? Base, base, we have a Panarin Spectrum FX. Big decoy once again. Two more base, we're getting near the bottom. Haven't found the uh, autograph future watch yet, so hopefully we're getting there. Base, base, Jack Hughes, red limited base, base and base. Base, base. Ooh, Sidney Crosby retro. That's nice. Not a rookie or anything, but. Nice Crosby one at least, base and base. This one's thick as well. Try our luck here. Base, base. We have true leaders for Kopitar. Thick decoy, base and base. This is a terrible box in my opinion. Comment down below what you guys think. Is this how uh, any other ones have been? Base, base, celebrated moments for uh, Bo and Bram. Uh, celebrated moments there. Base and base. And our last pack. So we have yet to get the autographed Future Watch Rookie. Um, it does say one per box. So hopefully we do get it because there is supposed to be one in here. So if it comes down to the last pack, that does scare me. This is a thick pack. And let's see. Uh, we have a True Leaders for Brent Burns. Base, base. Thick decoy. Base and base, of course. So we did get a whole stack of base, as you guys can see here. We did get some decent cards. Um, nothing of $410 in value that I see. We did get an autographed sign of the times for Jonathan Herbido. I'm assuming that um, if I had to guess, that one might be a $30, $40 card. I'm not 100% sure. Everything else doesn't seem too much. We did get a retro Future Watch card, but it's not autographed. And it does say on here, one per box. So uh, normally, I don't reach out to Upper Deck, but I'm think I'm going to have to since I'm supposed to get something in there and that's why these boxes are so much money is you're supposed to be guaranteed one per box an autographed future rookie card so hopefully in the next video the next hockey card video I will have an update but comment down below what you guys think should I attempt another one in the future to see if I will get a hobby box or not or should I just stick with the packs the three uh, individual packs at Walmart Comment down below what you guys would like to see, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.